Hi, I have a very special announcement to make to you right here at the top of our Beach the Clark show tonight. This is the last in the series of shows sponsored by the makers of Fresh Deodorant, our current sponsor. Next week, Beat the Clock will have a new sponsor and a new time. Tell you more about that later. Now, here's the announcement. In the event that the current bonus done should not be completed on this, the last show of this present series, the makers of Fresh Deodorant and our previous sponsors, the Sylvania Electric Products Corporation, will donate the entire amount of money in the bonus to recognize national charity. Now, next week, a new time, a new sponsor, a brand new bonus. So now, for tonight, let's see who can beat the clock. Beat the Clock is brought to you by the makers of fresh deodorant, who also make cold beans, the liquid cold medicine that brings feelable relief in minutes. And now, here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Sawyer! Thank you very much. Now, we have with us some holdover contestants from last week's show. They're on the brink of something that may be very exciting. Mr. and Mrs. Gabriel T. Fontana of Silver Spring, Maryland, and we flew you back here, didn't we? Nice to have you back. You are a printer, you've been married for eight years, and you have three little girls, twins who are five and one who is seven years old. What are their names again? Linda, Susie, and Patty. Who are the uh, twins? Susie and Patty. Susie and Patty, and Linda is the seven-year-old. Seven-year-old. Well, if you all are watching, you keep your fingers crossed now, because this will be a big moment in your lives and the lives of the moment. Want to wait to them, do you? Yeah, right ahead. Right. Here we are, right here. Right here. Right here. Hi, Linda. Hi, Susie. Patty. <laughs> you watch. I take the finger out of your mouth. That's <laughs> All right, now, behave and think good thoughts for Mom and Dad, because they had already gone through their 200 or qualifying clock last week when time ran out. So your first order of business at ours tonight is to give you a crack at the Super Bowl. You come over here with me, please. Sir. Sure, you may. Take it right off. And a boy. Okay, take it easy. You got good advice from the audience. I'll be right back. You open the curtains, please. I have the fishing pole and the helmet. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Amy. Now, let me give you your first real close look at this. You have something built up like this at home, did you? You do, you do notice that the football helmet that this dish is toward the front of it, and therefore you must tip back quite a little ways, as you see. But if you do, I want to show you that this will stay right in there. You see, this string is flat. It may not be held up there by that. If you, when I tell you to lower your arm and slack that string, ease down on it. Sometimes that's the thing, holding it too tight up there, that makes this rock around like that, you see, and pulls it right off. Okay? Okay. All right. There's the helmet. Put it on your head. Right-handed, I assume? Thank you. Hold it only one hand. As you know, the other hand is no problem. Is it? A good grip on it? All right, sir. Fresh clock says if you have 30 seconds, for sixty-four thousand dollars. You ready? Go. That string was relaxed. He had it sitting there. Boy, this is going to be a night nice you talk about the rest of your lives. All right, kids, sit down again now. It's all right. It's okay. I bet they're jumping around there. Huh? Yeah. You know how much it was? How much? I think 64. Yeah. You got it right. $64,000. I bet you had spent 
refed and talked about what you're going to do with that money all week, haven't you? Not until I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now let me ask you a special question. That is, what are your plans for it? What are you going to do with all that money? Well, we're going to donate a part of it to charity. Bless your heart. And probably... Yeah. Put the rest in the bank, at least for now. Going to put the rest in the bank? The last thing for spending it, because we have... Ah, <laughs> you realize that's going to guarantee a college education for those three girls? That's exactly what I have to Oh, say. it can mean so much. And you know, three girls can be expensive. Are you telling me? I got two. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk to you about that. Oh, I'd just like to stand here and talk all night. If you got anything else you want to do, I go right ahead. Oh, you wouldn't like to try it again? No, you wouldn't. I'm sure. <laughs> Well, here is a check which will be made out to your order right after the show. So you can kind of hold that now if you want to. We'll put it in your pocket just temporarily. We'll give you one made out to your order right after the show. And I can't tell you. I congratulate you. Thank you. <laughs> and congratulations to you. I want you to see that uh, uh, he's got a little reward here for my lead. He's, uh, he's well lifting. <laughs> you know what you got to go through now? Well, the jackpot <laughs> clock. Oh, of the... <laughs> I have to think. You have to think even after that exciting and wonderful moment. Sir, would you mind standing right over there by Al Dumay? And if you will step right up here on this platform and turn around and face the audience just a little more over to the edge. That's it. Now, if you can control yourself, you got another prize still ahead of you. Sounds a little anticlimactic, but I'm sure you won't find it so. Behind you now is our jackpot board. With all of the words of a famous saying or quotation, all mixed up and out of order, as you know, is our custom. And you have 20 seconds from the time I say go to straighten them around. Straighten them out in 20 seconds from the time I say go, and we'll stop the clock and you beat the clock. Okay, now don't turn around till I tell you to, and don't look, or rather start, until I say go. Open the curtain. Turn around, take a look. Go. That's the girl. Stop the clock. Where you get the clean off this show tonight? How do you get her to kiss? She's done something too. Oh man. <laughs> oh. I can't tell you what teamwork. Walk in, knock off the bonus, step up, knock off the jackpot. Glad you came back. Oh, yes. yes. Very you will never know how glad we are you came back. <laughs> he practiced all week. Oh, well, very, it was worth very. it, wasn't it, huh? It sure was. Every hour you put in on it, it paid off tonight, it believe sure. me. And he really practiced. I think it's a matter of practice and skill. Well, I mean, it's also a matter of not losing your nerve when you get up. Oh, well, he's good for that <laughs> calm, cool, and Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> all right, now, let's see what you won on the jackpot clock. Take a look right over here. It's America's favorite laundry twin, the Westinghouse Deluxe Laundromat and matching electric clothes dryer. They're completely automatic. The laundromat has famous Westinghouse full-time agitation, exclusive way-to-save door, and patented soap and water saver. And the clothes dryer has the Westinghouse direct airflow system that dries better, faster, and fluffier. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Fontana. In addition to the magnificent super bonus, you've just won a beat the clock jackpot prize worth only $500. <laughs> Rather nice, you see, because not only have you got all that money now, but you have something to wash it and dry it in. No. <laughs> you know, keep it nice and clean down the years. And you'll be watching next week because, of course, we've got a brand new bonus. And watch that one climb with our new sponsor and in our new time slot. God bless you. Thank Get those tips from me God. and the best of everything at Bendy the rest of your Thank life. You Bye. Much. Have you, uh, have you caught your breath yet? I, I'm not quite sure about it, really. <laughs> that was quite a oh. moment. Wow. In case you tuned in late, the bonus went. Wow. But we have Mr. and Mrs. Russell Bethley from Chicago, Illinois. And a warm welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 What do you do, Russ? I'm a meter mechanic for Commonwealth Edison and Company. In Chicago? Yes, sir. I think. And you've been married three years also. The other couple were married. Uh, you have uh, a one little girl, two years old? That's right. Uh-huh. What's her name? Christy Ann. Christy Ann's watching? 
Well, I hope so. We've got a time difference out there. Well, well, uh, uh, all right, you give her a big fat wave while I'm getting some things here for you. Hi, sweetheart. Now, first of all, I want you to see that you can bring home to the young lady and also for your own sake and your own friends to party one of our Beats O'Clock games given to you, as always, by uh, our present sponsors, make us a fresh deodorant. That'll be backstage for you right after the show. Thank you, Bev. As will this gift package of uh, fresh products. All the makers of fresh make all these wonderful products. All right. Is that a little simple now? No, our, our companion it came with it. It's just over to the two-door hotel. Oh, uh, bless my soul. You remind me before we get through tonight, I'll give you another bottle. Take a look. <laughs> That's the reason why she couldn't come. Oh, how cold. too bad. That is a shame. You give her my best. Yes, yes. Well, I hope I need you. Okay, they're gonna put you to work now, and you're gonna have to move around a bit. So suppose you take your jacket off and hang it on the little hook I think is over there. Is the one there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, just hang it right on there, and then you come on over here with me. Your wife can kind of catch your breath on this one. Wait for hers that may be coming up. Now we put you in those sneakers because you will have to run. You have to race a tractor. See the little course down here between these little tables? See the black line across down there? That's the finish line. Here's the tractor. When I say go, this is the starting line always. The front of the tractor right there. If you press this like that, see it goes. Now, that's what I want you to do. If you start that when I say go, then you must race it down and across the finish line. Let's take a look at our fresh clock and see how many seconds you have. 50 seconds. You've got to get across before the tractor. But one thing I forgot to tell you. <laughs> when you start the tractor, this is the way you race it. You run around this table, then you run around this table, then you run around that table, sorry. And then around this one, then around that one, then around that one, just zigzagging back and forth, being careful not to kick over the tractor as it goes, and then get across the finish line ahead and you'll beat the clock. Okay? You got it? Right around that one, right around this one, right around that one, right around this one, right around that one, and around that one to get across the line ahead and you'll beat it. Okay? Get your hand on the starter. Are you ready? Go! This one! This one! Hurry up! Hurry up, boy! Hurry up! Hurry up! You didn't quite make it. It got over ahead of you. All right, come on. Let's have that green one again. We'll rewind it here. We got others already, but we'll start this one here for you now. Okay. <laughs> See? Your first one is around here, then around there, then around there. See? Got, got the court set now in your mind? All right. Here we go again now. You still have plenty of time, so don't let it worry you. Okay. Headed right. Are you ready again? Go. that tractor, will you? You take this home to your little girl and tell her that you beat that tractor someday. <laughs> okay, here we are. You take it along to her there. You know how to work it like nobody knows. You take it after you're all through, okay? All right, good enough. Now that brings you through the $100 clock. We move along now to the $200 clock. And again, I think you might have just got a breath there, didn't we, huh? Yeah. Well, I got news for you. We're going to make you work again. Your wife is going to help this time, so I don't know if it'll make it any easier. We'll find out in just a second or so. Will you both come over here with me, please? This is on your $200 clock. Now, if you stand on this side of me, and you sir, stand on this side while I describe this to you, here on this table, remember the old game you used to play at parties, birthday parties? We had one similar to this not too long ago on the show, but it's, it's, it's different, too. Where you uncover a whole table full of objects or a tray full, and you had to remember what was on there. This is a little different. There's a tray full of, uh, rather, a tabletop of objects here. They're all very easily recognizable. You know what they are in an instant that you see them. You have to stand back about here, sir, and you have to call out the names because your wife, and you kind of slip right through there to stand and turn toward this blackboard because we will uncover when we start a list of the names of the things that are on here. As your husband calls off the names from back here so we can't see the blackboard, of the various things, you check them off in the little box that's next to each name. Do you understand? It's a little, like a ballot thing over there. Check them off. When he's got them all checked, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock, okay? All right, so take your position back here, if you will, right about there. That's about it. And uh, let's take a look at our fresh clock now and see how many seconds you have. You have 60 full seconds, a whole minute. Now, let's see, is there anything lacking? Oh, yes, just one thing. Would you bring it in, please? There we are. Now, you are behind a fence, and obviously the only way you can see what's on there is to jump and look over, you see. <laughs> don't jump too close. We don't want you to get hurt on that or anything like that. Okay? Now, you stay back there. We will uncover the objects that are on the table. Spread them out so you can see them all. And you uncover the blackboard, if you will. Okay? Once again, I remind you, have a full minute on our fresh clock. 
Are you ready, sir? All right. Go. Uh, it's one net. What? A net. A net. Right. Check it out. Hot water bottle. Hot water bottle. Check that out. Slice water. Slice water. Check that out. Damn. A what? Cut. Cut. A pan. A pot. Cut pan. Fair baby shoes. Fair baby shoes. Shoe. And a horse shoe. Blackboard. Blackboard. the morning, would you, huh? <laughs> oh, no. Well, you better get to bed early tonight. Well, now, your wife is breathing very calmly here now. She's not upset at all. So you are going to have a chance to catch your breath while she carries on for our jackpot clock. Would you mind stepping down over there, sir? Now, if you will step right up here on this platform, turn around and face the audience. That's it. Don't turn around until I tell you to, and don't go until I say go. The jackpot board is behind you with another famous saying or quotation on there. You've got to move the words around because they're all mixed up, okay? I don't look like they, don't go like they go. Open the curtain. Turn around and take a look. Go. Okay, stop the clock. Necessity is another of the next of your life. <laughs> Well, it was worth catching your breath for, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Feel better now? I'm so hard to <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet it. You did some real fast jumping there. Okay, now, let's take a look. You can beat my jackpot clock and see what you've won. And uh, I can see what it is from here. And you, especially, as you feel right now, are going to be mighty happy. Let's take a look and see what it is. And for you, Mr. and Mrs. Bentley, here are two of York's revolutionary snorkel three-quarter ton air conditioners. The York snorkel is only 12 and 3 quarter inches thin, takes only half the window space of ordinary air conditioning, and it doesn't block your view. You can open and close your windows all the way, any time you wish. Nothing extends outdoors. Congratulations, you've just won a beat the clock jackpot prize, worth more than $500. My congratulations to you, too. As you practice, take that along. God bless you, sir. And you keep that youngster for me, will you? Okay, bye. Hello, Beverly. Anybody tune in late? The bonus was won tonight by our holdover contestants for $64,000. Oh, but we have Mr. and Mrs. Ralph Taylor from Mooresville, North Carolina. Well, I thank you for introducing us, Ralph. Hello, Ralph, and hi, Miss Taylor. How are you? Good How are you, right? you've got, haven't you? You have, too. Thank you. How long have you folks been there? Ten years. Ten years. And what about your family? We have three. We have three on the other couple, the first ones. Uh, what are you, how many boys, how many girls? Two girls and one boy. That's what I've got. We must use the same formula. You expect <laughs> we did? Isn't that wonderful? How old are your girls and boys? We have a girl that's eight, a girl that's four, and a boy that's two. For a father, he did pretty well. You know, most of them they have to look at the wife and find out. <laughs> I suppose they're watching, aren't they? Yes, we hope so. Well, come on, this is wave night. So wave at them, right in there. Hi, baby. And let them know Hi. that you're going to bring some things home to them, too. Not only a gift box of all the wonderful products made by the makers of fresh deodorant, but also, backstage, for you after the show, will be one of these beat the clock games. Fine, <laughs> fine. I'm fine. like that, won't yes, they? Yes, they will. Okay, yes. Bev will have them for you, won't you, Bev? Thank you very yes, much. Yes, they will. Now, come on out here, folks. We got you all covered up there, so I expect you suspect a few things, don't you, huh? Yes, yes. All right. On your $100 clock, will you both come over here with me, please? Now, Ralph, we're going to ask you to sit right down there, if you will, with your, you know, hunker right up with your back against that. Good and close. How's that? Sit right up good and close to it. That's the boy. That's it. Fine. Put that shower cap on your head, if you will, to keep your long hair from getting in your eyes. And then we're going to place on top of that this blindfold, which is not going over your eyes, but I'll show you and everybody, is bristling with a little tack. You see that? Yes. Now, there's a reason for that. I'm just going to place it on your forehead. Tack side out, of course, you understand. <laughs> and we're hoping that those tacks will come into sufficient proximity with this balloon that they will break the balloon. Now, when I say go, that balloon will swing like this, you see, lazily back and forth in front of your face. Now, you've got to somehow get that balloon in against those tacks, and here's the way you do it. If you step right over here, 
and stand right next to this table. You'll find here a supply of ready whip. If you ever use this for dessert, you know how to use it then. I don't have to show you. you. Just take one hand and you aim it always at your husband's face and try to squirt when the balloon goes past his face. You understand? That way, you'll knock the balloon against those tacks and keep it up until you break it. Now, wait till I say go. And first, let's take a look at our fresh clock and see how many seconds you have. You have 45 seconds. Are you ready? Go. your face there that's right we wanted you to get it on your husband not on you but you splattered it back on you too you write your hands off now and you'll be all set for your next time okay now the girls will get him all cleaned up ralph will be just fine for you in a few minutes in the meantime we have a problem for you because we have to move you along through the 200 hundred dollar clock good whipped cream so don't worry about it good for your complexion <laughs> all right now have you ever played when you were a kid did you ever play the old game of silly week you know, you take a couple of little, uh, like discs, and you flip one, and it goes into a little glass. Yeah. We have a little different one for you with poker chips. Will you come over here with me on the $200 clock? Now, you just stand right close to this table any way you want to. And all you've got to do, actually, is take these poker chips one at a time and, see, just drop one, and get two, and get three. That's all. Three of them in that cup. We'll stop the clock, and you beat the clock. Stand as close to this table as you want. It's fine, okay? Take a look at our fresh clock now. See how many seconds you have. You have 55 seconds from the time I say go. You'll find the cup down in the bottom of that pail of water. <laughs> so what you must do, of course, is to reach over and try to drop them right in the center if you can and try to float them down so they hopefully land in the cup. That was just fish as you saw. Okay, you have plenty of time to do it. Are you ready? Lean over as far as you want. Go. Stop the clock a minute. You're kind of short, but we'll count those if we got two of them in. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's the girl. It's down there in the cup. Right in the center. Drop them right in the center. Oh. Right in the center. Flat. Right in the center. Right in the center. You get a loop right over the almost touch the water. In the center. Right in the center. That's it. That ought to be a good one. That ought to be a good one. That up. Uh, uh. to step right up here on the far end there turn around and face the audience don't turn back like i tell you to don't go till i say go open the curtains you have to rearrange the words in our jackpot thing turn around and take a look at it From Elna Supermatic, world's only 100% automatic portable sewing machine. The easiest machine to use for everything from darning to fancy stitches, from straight sewing to monograph. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. You have just won a prize worth more than $200. <laughs> 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 well, as you know, this is the end of our current series under our very good sponsor, the makers of fresh deodorants and many other fine products, Coldine. we told you about tonight. It's been a wonderful series with them. Next week, we'll be back with a brand new time, 7 to 7.30 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, or consult your listing to find out what time it hits you. Uh, we have a brand new sponsor, Hazel Bishop is our sponsor as of next week, and a brand new bonus. Bonus went tonight, as you know, for $64,000, real excitement. So right now, we'll see you next week, and until then, this is Bud Cotty saying good night and hoping that next time may be your time to beat the clock. Good night, everybody. Travel arrangements for Beat the Clock are made through United Airlines. United Airlines flies our returning contestants from fast new DC-7 mainliner. Hey, 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 hey,
Bill Cotton's production produced in association with the CBS Television Network. Miss Bentley's Gown by Rapp.